So hi there grade 6 pupils, welcome back again to another video lesson. So we are now on week 8 for grade 6 mathematics quarter 1. So during the 7th week, so diniscuss po natin is division of decimals up to 2 decimal places. Wherein, nagdivide tayo ng whole numbers by decimals, decimals by whole numbers, and decimals by decimals. So for this week, we will be dividing decimal up to 4 decimal places by 1 tenths, 1 hundredths, and 1 thousandths. And as well as, to divide decimals up to 2 decimal places by 10, 100, and 1,000 mentally. So, yung letter B natin na i-discuss mentally, ibig sabihin, isosolve lang natin sa ating utak. So, meron tayong pattern dyan na i-discuss mamaya kung paano makakapag-divide ng decimals by, one, by 10, 100, and 1,000 mentally. So, let's start. So, at the end of this video lesson, students, you are expected to divide decimals up to 4 decimal places by 1 tenths, 1 hundredths, and 1 thousandths. So, kapag decimals ang pinag-uusapan natin, thousandths, hundredths, and tenths, meron po silang THS sa hulihan. And then also, sabi ko nga kanina, we will be dividing decimals mentally. So, ayan, up to 2 decimal places by 10, 100, and 1,000. So, before we proceed to our discussion, let us have a review. So, i-review muna natin yung lesson na ito, which is multiplication of decimals. So, we have multiply 123 and 45 hundredths by the following factors. So, kapag nagmumultiply tayo ng decimals by another decimals, ang nangyayari po sa ating uh, product is lumiliit po siya. Say, for example, kapag minultiply natin ang 123 and 45 hundredths by 1 tenths, magmumu po tayo ng 1 decimal place to the left. So, ibig sabihin, ang sagot po natin dyan ay 12 and 345 thousandths. So, nagmumu po tayo ng 1 decimal place to the left. And then, kapag minultiply naman natin yan by 1 hundredths, magmumu naman tayo ng 2 decimal places to the left. So, kung kanina ang sagot natin ay 12 and 345 thousands, ngayon po ang sagot natin ay 1 and 2,345 na. And finally, kapag nagmultiply tayo by 1 thousands, magmumove tayo ng 3 decimal places to the left. So, ang final answer natin is 12,345 hundred thousands. So, you can see, ayan, lumiliit ng lumiliit yung product natin, syempre. But, kapag nagmultiply naman tayo by 10, 100, and 1,000, lumalaki naman. Say, for example, 123 and 45 hundreds I-multiply natin ng 10, magmumove naman tayo ng 1 decimal place to the right. So, ibig sabihin, ang answer natin dito is 1,234 and 5 tenths. So, from 100, naging thousands na siya. Next, by 100, magmumove naman tayo ng 2 decimal places to the right pa rin. So, ibig sabihin, ang sagot natin dito ay magiging 12,345 na. So, 10,000 na. Next, kapag minultiply natin yung ating given decimal by 1,000, so, magmumove naman tayo ng 3 decimal places 
to the right. So, ibig sabihin, ang sagot natin dito ay magiging 123,450. So, yung sagot natin kanina na 12,345 is dadagdagan lang po natin ng 0. So, yan po ang, ang ating review. So, kung paano magmultiply ng decimals. So, let us now discuss our uh, main topic which is to divide decimals by one tenths, one hundredths, and one thousandths. So, division is the exact opposite of multiplication. So, ang kabaligtaran po ng multiplication is division. Just like addition, kabaligtaran niya is subtraction. So, remember that in multiplying decimals by one tenths, one hundredths, and one thousandths, we move the decimal point to the left. Kagaya ng pinakita natin kanina. But, in dividing decimals by one tenths, one hundredths, and one thousandths, we move the decimal point to the right. So, kapag nagdi-divide tayo ng number or decimals by another decimals, lumalaki naman yun. So, the number of digits after the decimal point will be the basis of on how many decimal places will be moved. So, let's have the first activity. Complete the table below. So, ayan, meron tayong given dito and then, i-divide natin by one thousandths, one hundredths, and one tenths. So, tandaan natin, kapag nagdi-divide tayo ng decimals by uh, using these factors, yung tatlo na sinabi ko, so, ang ginagawa natin dito, minumove natin yung decimal place to the right. Okay, so kapag dinivide natin yung 5.8 or 5 and 8 tenths by 1 tenths, magiging ganito siya. From 5.8, magmumove tayo ng 1 decimal place to the right. So, magiging 58. Next, kapag naman ang 5.8 dinivide natin by 1 hundredths, magiging ganito siya. 1, 2. So, mag a tayo ng 0. So, yung ating sagot dito is 580. And then finally, kapag dinivide naman natin yung 5.8 or 5 and 8 tenths by 1 thousandths, ganito naman ang magiging movement. 1, 2, 3. Ayan. So, magiging 5,800. Kung titignan natin, ang ating mga sagot, ang ating mga quotient, dumadagdag lang po ng zero. From 58, naging 580, and then 5,800. Next, 9.26 or 9 and 26 hundredths, kapag dinibide natin by 0.1 or 1 tenths, magiging 92.6 or 92 and 6 tenths. Kapag naman dinibide natin By 1 hundredths, yung 92.6, magmumove pa ulit ng isang decimal place, magiging 926 na. And then by 1 thousandths naman, mag a lang tayo ng 0. So, magiging 9,260 na siya. So, I hope nakukuha nyo yung pattern niya. Hindi natin kailangan na i-divide sila kasi may pattern So, kailangan nagmumove lang tayo ng decimal places depende dun sa factor. Next, 789 thousands. So, ito naman, magmove tayo ng one decimal place to the right. So, magiging 7.89 or 7 and 89 hundredths. Pag dinivide natin by one hundredths, magiging 78 and 9 tenths. And then finally, kapag dinivide natin by 1 thousandths, magiging 789. Next, last example, we have 82 and 3,041 ten thousandths. So, magmumove tayo ng 1 decimal places, 1 decimal place pag dinivide natin by 1 tenths. So, magiging 823 and 41,000. 
Kapag dinivide natin by 100, magiging 8,230 and 41 hundredths. And then finally, kapag dinivide natin by 1,000 thousands, so magmumove ulit tayo ng 1 decimal place to the right, magiging 82,000 304 and 1 tenths. So, I hope nakuha natin yung pattern natin kapag nagdi-divide na yun ng decimals by 1 tenths, 1 hundredths, and 1 thousandths. So, let's now move on to dividing decimals by 10, 100, and 1 thousand. So, ngayon naman, i-divide natin yung decimals by whole numbers. So, kung yung decimals dinivide natin kanina doon sa mga uh, decimals na divisors, yung one-tenths, one-hundredths, and one-thousandths, lumalaki yung ating result or yung quotient. What about kaya kapag dinivide naman natin by whole numbers? So, in dividing decimals by 10, 100, and 1,000, move the decimal point to the left as many places are the number of zero in the in divisor in the divisor so ang mangyayari naman dito is magmo-move tayo ng decimal places to the left so ibig sabihin kapag minug natin yung decimal point to the left liliit po yung ating sagot so let's have the second activity answer the following questions what is the quotient of 4.6 or 4 and 6 tenths and 10. So, sulat natin 4.6 or 4 and 6 tenths divided by 10. So, kapag dinivide po natin yung yung dividend na 4.6 by 10, magmumove po tayo ng decimal place or decimal point to the left. So, since uh, dun sa 10, yung ating uh, device or isa lang po ang 0, isang decimal place lang po ang ating imumove. So, from the decimal point, magmumove tayo ng isa to the left. So, our final answer is 0.46 or 46 hundredths. Next, what is 7 and 33 hundredths divided by 100? So, rewrite lang natin 7 and 33 hundredths divided by 100. So, rewrite natin yung 7.33. And then, since yung ating divisor is 100, so, dalawa po yung 0, dalawang decimal places din po ang i-move natin to the left. So, let's start. 1, 2. So, dalawang decimal place ang minub natin. And then, our final answer will be 0.0733 or read as 733 ten thousands. Ayan. Kung mapapansin nyo po yung ating mga nakuhang quotient ay maliit. Kasi nga, dinidivide po natin yung decimals by whole numbers. Next one, number three. What is 81 and 94 hundredths divided by 1,000? So 81 and 94 hundredths divided by 1,000. So rewrite lang natin, and then magmumub tayo ng three decimal places. So, titignan lang po natin yung ating divisor kung ilan yung zero na nakikita natin sa uh, hulihan. Okay? So, dun sa 10, 100, and 1,000. So, mag-move tayo ng 3 decimal places to the right. So, 1, 2, 3. So, our final answer is this one. So, paano natin siya babasahin? 8,194 hundred thousands. Number four, what is the result when 
26 and 75 hundredths is divided by 10 and 100. So, dun muna tayo sa by 10. Divide natin by 10. So, mag-move tayo ng 1 decimal place to the left. So, yung 26.75 or 26 and 75 hundredths magiging 2N675 thousands. Minub kasi natin 1 decimal place to the left. And then, kapag naman dinivide natin by 100, magmumove tayo ng 2 decimal places to the left. 1, 2. So, our answer is 2,675 10 thousands. So, last one, what is the result when 789 and 2 hundredths is divided by 10, 100, and 1,000? So, divide natin muna by 10. So, kapag dinivide natin by 10, magmumove tayo ng 1 decimal place to the left, magiging 78 and 902 thousands. Kapag naman dinivide natin by 100, magiging 7 and 8,902, 10,000s. And finally, kapag dinivide natin by 1,000, magiging 78,902, 100,000s. So, ayan. As you, as you can see, habang lumalaki yung dinidivide natin dun sa decimals, lumiliit naman yung result. And then, for your activity, divide the following decimals by 10, 100, and 1,000 mentally. So, dito, pwede yung orasan yung sarili nyo kung ilang minuto or ilang seconds nyo masasagot ito. Mentally lang, ha? Ibig sabihin, bawal tayong mag-compute manually, bawal tayong gumamit ng calculator or any calculation device. So, uh, iisipin lang natin, isosolve lang natin yung mga given na yan sa utak natin. So, yun lang. So, what's next? Differentiating, terminating from repeating, non-terminating decimal quotients. So, kung ano yung mga repeating repeating and non-terminating decimal quotients na yan, i-discuss po lahat natin yan sa susunod na video lesson. So, thanks for watching!